I'm at the Lidwood, and it's nice to meet you all. Now I know you all want me to talk about my son, Jackson. Oh, Jackson was always such a good baby. It was just me and him. But I never thought he'd ever be so lonely. We kept each other company, Jackson and I. He loved me. I could still feel his little arms wrapped tight around my neck. I love you, Mama. And he did. Now I know you all want me to talk about what Jackson did. But that's not who he was. That's not who he is. I want to tell you about my son, not about what he did. We all care about our family, but sometimes we go a little overboard with smothering and protecting them. I know I have. And nice boy, Martha Linwood makes a huge mistake in raising her son, Jackson Linwood, which causes him to make bad choices. Nice Boy by Alyssa Saksek. Oh, Jackson was always such a good boy. His father left us when he was younger. But we did alright ourselves. Children can be so cruel, can't they? They picked on him. Jackson's always been skinny, sort of sickly looking since he was younger. But I always thought he was handsome. Though he wasn't as strong or as fast as the rest of his grade. So he became the butt of some jokes. I tried to do what I could. I called the teachers, the principal, and every mother of every bully I heard about. But I think I just made things worse. You can't protect a child from everything. You really can't. But goodness knows, I tried. Jackson's middle school years were rough, that's for sure. So sometimes he'd come home crying, telling me about how some kids made fun of him for lacking a girl. Isn't that just awful? To tease a kid, for lacking a crush? Well, I guess they thought no girl would ever love Jackson. But I told him, and I said, Jackson, there will always be one girl that will love you, no matter what. And that's your mama. And that's still true, I'd like to add. I'm a nurse. I work evening and night shifts, so Jackson would be home alone a lot. This one night, this girl comes running in. I, I see that she's all bruised around her face. <laughs> I notice that her neck has two red marks around it as if she'd been choked. <laughs> Honey, what happened? <laughs> Honey, what happened to you? I was raped. I have to help you. We have to contact the police. Hello? What's his name? Who did this to you? Jackson Linwood. Pardon? Jackson Linwood. I don't know what might have happened next. I think I might have fainted. All I know is that when I woke up, the police were around me, 
asking all sorts of questions. Has Jackson ever been violent towards you before? Has he ever had a girlfriend? Do you know where he was the night of the attack? No, 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 no. This is all a mistake. You've got the wrong boy. I told them it was as simple as that. This girl must have been so traumatized by her ordeal that she mistook her attacker for my son. That's all this was. But oh, then they told me that they had Jackson in custody and that he admitted to doing that terrible thing to that girl. Sarah. Her name was Sarah. And to two others earlier that week. And all I wanted to do was see my baby boy. Because of my baby boy, my Jackson, you would never do something like this. I never taught you about the birds and the bees. It was all my fault you must have searched this terrible stuff on the internet. It was all my fault you were so oppressed. It should have been me they lock it up, not you. Jackson will be almost 50 years old by the time they let him out. They had to lock him up as an adult, you see, because he's 18 now. It's been hard with you reporters and whatnots around. You all think that Jackson's crazy. And well, this is a small town, so news spreads around fast. And apparently, I'm the mother of a monster. But that's not how I raised Jackson. I raised him to be loving towards women. And I know I did, because he loved me. The court psychologist said that Jackson wasn't crazy, per se but that I had loved and smothered him so much that he was sick of it. I don't know what was going on inside my mind. But all I knew was that I had one job. And that was to be a mother. I'm going to visit Jackson today, and I'm going to ask if he's sorry for what he's done. And well, I hope he'll say yes, because no matter what terrible things Jackson might have done, I will always love him. And I hope you'll believe me now when I say that Jackson was always a nice boy. Thank you.